let's talk. And yeah, let's see what happens. I like, feel like we're tired. So, yeah. so the whole point of the podcast is the moments in life when everything changes. Yes. Did you ever think to yourself when you were just a little kid, you know what? I'm gonna, when I get older, I'm gonna be this internationally renowned inspirational figure that's gonna really put a dent in the universe. I just really believe in my thesis. I think well, everybody here under 30 is rushing to do stuff to close insecurities and vulnerabilities and it's making them do things that they're gonna regret uh, long term and I just didn't. I just, you know what it feels like to be 27 years old and see your college friends and them making jokes that you work in your dad's liquor store? Like, I just was able to be in my own head and not care about what anybody else thought and that would be my biggest piece of advice because I genuinely believe all of you are in a rush for that. I don't think you care about a BMW or a Rolex or like spending a lot of money on a vacation for any other reason because of the psychological aspects of how that positions you to other people. I really believe that. And so I just think people, you know, like the young man, I don't know if he's here, who's like, I'm killing it. I wanna start teaching other people. He's, he's so young. Like anybody could do well at Wall Street the last six years, everybody. I definitely thought I was different at an extremely young age. Um, I grew up in a world that didn't reward outwardly the things that I was about. It, it still blows my mind that I was you know, 15, 16 years old making real money in my side businesses and every teacher I had and every friend's parent thought I was gonna be a loser. Man, I know we're, we're, putting, we're, putting, we're locking in a, a show with him or like a session, right, a meeting? Jonathan, man, keep fucking grinding, man. All that attention on you. The food is just your passion. Sonar, the sensors. Yeah. Uh, Abby, this off. is killing my, uh, <laughs> it's killing my vibe. <laughs> Let the, just, I'd rather you actually hit the car at this point. <laughs> okay. Just fucking hit it. I yeah. turned it off too. I don't know why. Yep. Anyway, guys, who's reading Crushing It? Yep. Uh, the audio's good. I'm halfway done. What am I finishing it next week? All right, there's something broken now. Yeah, blank that. This fucking display. I want all new Gunna. I want all new Gunna. Avi, this is absurd. I turned it off too, look. I don't believe you. Look for something else. Look, look at that rear button. What's that rear button that's lit up? That's rear, that's down below. Yep, 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 right there, yep. That's the heat. Now we're freezing. <laughs> Turn that back on. Turn up the car. There's snow, there's snow. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the snow. Uh, go, get out of the car and wipe the, I'm fucking gonna wipe the snow. Let me out of here. Oh shit, we're, it's green. <laughs> I do have to do it for, I gotta entertain these people. I'm trying to entertain these people, AJ. I gotta bounce tomorrow morning because I can't watch the fucking Patriots play in a game, but other than that, it's been good. How about you? Hey, what up, man? Nice to meet you. How are you, man? Real pleasure. Nice to meet you. Real pleasure. Thanks. Hey, Greg. Hey, how you doing, man? How are you, man? I'm good. Such nice a pleasure. How are things? Cold. Good. It is fucking cold. Sit, sit, sit. You wanna bring some chairs over? Yeah. Like, There's so Trey, much. Trey's like the next generation, right? And like, There's so Trey's, much. Trey's live streaming 2K on Twitch, and I mean, like, they know, because they're, because they're, they're, and there's so much money they're leaving on the tank. So much money, happiness, like, yeah, man, it's gonna be real interesting to watch. It's coming. Like, I don't think people, like, I'm talking about, like, I mean, if governments can be folded by this, leagues can be folded by this. Like, this is way bigger. Like, it may not even hit his generation, it might be, you got anybody younger than you? If they had, like, a nine-year-old brother, that kid legitimately could be living a world where I, I just think the internet kills everything in the middle. And so what happened to bookstores and happened to you know limo services, that shit can happen to the fucking NBA. Right? That's what, nobody gives a fuck about Steph Curry. They care about his attention. They don't give a fuck if you can shoot from 40 feet out or score 60 a night. They care that kids are influenced by what you say. And whether you're fucking Meek Mill or fucking LeBron or fucking CNN, it's all the same shit. It just, it's, it's, it's understanding the strength of like, if you, if, you love, if you love Twitch, you go all in on Twitch. If you love fashion, you go all in on fashion. Because every athlete wants to be a rapper, every rapper wants to be an athlete, and they all want to be entrepreneurs. 
That's real, right? It's a new rock star. 100%. Look at who do kids want to be? It used to be they wanted to be that guy. Now they want to be. You know why? You know why? You know why they want to be me? Because they can. You need to be born. Blast out your ass to be him. Or Robin Nietzsche, our football player, he's a fucking house. He's all of us in one man with no body fat. Did you see him take off his shirt? You see that shit? So that's why, because it's actually true. I want to be like Mike, fuck that. This sneaker, you can actually be that. I'll give you it right now. Go on Craigslist, take all the free shit that they're offering in the, on the free page in the classifieds, bring it home, take a picture, put it on Facebook Marketplace, and make $400 a week. Yo, just sell shit. Like in about a month, he's not gonna think that shirt is as good as he thinks oh, it's yeah. today. You know how that works. Fashion. So instead of like letting it be in your house while you're at Duke, take it, pictures, sell. It's fucking insane. The, fi- the Craigslist thing is crazy. Literally anybody on welfare I think could become wealthy just by having a phone and ju- you could have a studio. You go to the person's house, Everybody's got a bullshit car. Carry, carry this shit on the bus. If you're broke, grab this, go on the bus, sit on the bus like this, everybody's gonna look at you, be like, yeah, 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 keep laughing, come home, do it, take a picture, and fucking post it on Facebook Marketplace, 15 bucks, somebody's like, yo, I'll take your table, ding dong, yo, hello, here you go, sold. You just made, what are you doing with, and then somebody's gonna say, but damn, it's gonna take 40 minutes to go there, 40 minutes to take on the bus, ten, five minutes to post, seven minutes, I'm gonna be like, but what are you doing with your time anyway? Everybody can win, it's about being yourself. Okay. The truth is the fucking formula. That's the strategy. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm happy. So. On, in fucking Hoboken. Oh. I'm telling you right now, that's literally $35 on Facebook Marketplace if you just pick it up. It's seven minutes of your time. It's 15 minutes of your time. Turn off the music, Avi. Turn off the music, Avi. Honestly, I think I just eliminated for the first time. I think I just eliminated for the first time in my career the excuse of no money. I think it just happened. This is like a big day for me. Literally for 30 years I've had a like, Pander to that excuse, it's over. It's actually over. It's called Craigslist Free Section. Buy, go, I was about to say buy it. Go take it for free because most people just want you to pick it up because it's bigger or what have you. If you happen to actually have like a truck or like a bigger vehicle, then you are really set. My friends, Craigslist Free to then relist it on Facebook Marketplace, the arbitrage of the internet. We see this in retail where people buy things in China, post on Amazon, or things of that nature, buy on marshalls.com, sell on Amazon, like it happens. The much more humble version, when you've got nothing, if you're just sitting like, I need money, like all those people that were like, yo, can somebody buy me Gary Vee's book, I can't afford it? That means, you know, $17. It's there, man. I think you can make, man, I really think a real hustler I think it's like three hundred dollars a week. I mean, that's like full time. No, I don't. I, I feel like people. I think three hundred bucks a week. If you're not even doing it full time, I think if you take your six p.m. to nine p.m. Mm-hmm. Monday and Tuesday, picking up shit, and then reposting it on Facebook Marketplace, and then meeting people on Saturday to come to your home and grab it, I think it's three hundred bucks a week, man. I think it could be even bigger. What are we? Why are we so lost? No, we. This is it. <laughs> Why are we, that's a good little sign. When's he going? How? There's a lot of attractive, there's a lot of attractive people in here. Wow. A lot of attractive people in here. right here, he just walked in. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, you live? <laughs> well, we're up to a whole lot. <laughs> There's just cameras everywhere. <laughs> cameras everywhere. <laughs>
Fucking cameras everywhere. All right, let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, someone DM'd you? I go, what's going on? They know about it and they're against it? The OR team, the PR team. Who's PR? Hmm. Should we meet in the parking lot? Can you scour my Twitter and see what people, rep- can you look at all my, other- Gabby, can you do that too actually? Can you look at all the tweets, replies? It looks like we're trying to do a meetup because uh, I have to be at Mall of America so I figured I'd be like, hey, I can meet you there real quick. I didn't want to disrupt it in any way but it seems like security is not excited about it or something. I don't know the details yet. I figured with all the football players there, big crowds, but you know, so we're on our way there. It's snowy. I'm trying to figure it out. Got to um, move it to the IHOP. What do you think? I think as soon as we walk in, we kicked out. I bet you they, they know who I am. I've like interacted with the Wall, Mall of America Twitter account. Got, like people, well, that and like I'm sure. Like, They're gonna be hello, sir. You're out of here. Yeah, fuck that. We're gonna lose. Just in the parking lot. By IHOP. Snapchat. But I'm moving the uh, meetup. I'm gonna move it to the uh, the IHOP on Killebrew. Um, I'm just not gonna be able to pull this off at the Mall of America. I just feel like they're gonna kick me out. Should I buy a thousand dollars worth of pancakes so they let us all in? Really? Holy shit. They think I'm in that bus. Go straight, go straight, go straight, go straight. I wanna go away from Pull, pull in right here. Yeah, right here. Yep. Watch this. <laughs> you get out first, Babin. Yeah. I'm just gonna be like, hey. Yo! There he is! Don't slip, don't slip. Gary, what up, man? Fucker, dude. How are you doing? Good, brother. How are you? Hey, oh my God, it's high. such a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm oh sorry it's so cold. Gary, nice <gasps> to meet you. What up, you. man? How are you? Don't be sorry. We live here, man. <laughs> yeah, you guys know. Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Hey, nice to meet you. Too. Good to see you again, man. There's a lot of people listening who don't know who I am, and so it's tough to come out the gate after you said such a nice thing to say, yes, I knew. But I, look, for example, actually, let's do this, let's do this backwards. I really think it's an extremely small fraction of the actual way it all plays out right this minute. Okay. So I think we sit here 27 years from now and it starts getting really weird. Like really weird? Like really weird. In terms of the reach? I think everybody will know who I am. Right. And I think I'm gonna have a real positive impact. Found yep. someone selling a TV for 20 bucks, immediately posted it, found like 50 people, sold it for 200 bucks. That's my guy. I don't have much That's time. a flip, baby. I appreciate That's it. That's a flip, let's go. Could you take a picture of us? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. Picture? I will not forget this. I just wanted to give sure. something back to you until you change my life. I know you get off on hearing that and I just, I, I, we never bought my right. Thank you, brother. One last thing is kind of fucked up. Can you sign my shoe? I have, yes. I have no, I have no crushing it for you to sign. No worries, brother. Do you want to sign the outside right <laughs> Yeah, I got you. Yeah, look at that. This dude's signing his shoes. We're going inside. <laughs> Okay, the update is, it's fucking cold, and we're going inside, I'm gonna keep the line the way it was. I pull from opposite directions, most of my success comes from that, and you know, and maybe that double life I lived during my childhood, because I'm not scared of losing, because I was tell, told that I was losing. Right, you were gonna lose anyway. That's right. Right, they, they were saying, look, you're not gonna amount to anything anyway, so in your mind, you're thinking, well, House money, try? house money, and I didn't believe them. You know, it wasn't even just like, well, if I have nothing to lose, I, I was like, you're wrong. What is making you not jump all in? Usually, not crazy results in a short period of time, which means you're looking for, you're, you know, you're not looking for marriages, you're looking for hookups. That's why you haven't figured it out. Everybody thinks that, everybody is unstuck. It's, you know what, this is a great th- two themes in a row. Everybody's stuck on the idea of it, guys. It's not the idea of it. Waze wasn't a new innovation, right? Instagram wasn't a new innovation. Spotify wasn't a new, like guys, it's like, you know, it's like, it's execution. So usually people are bouncing around their businesses because they think they're gonna come up with an idea, it's gonna launch and fucking Nirvana's gonna come. You know? It's just not, it's fucking execution. Nothing I've ever done in my life is some new thing. I've just done it better, harder, longer, like 
It's just in the edges. Elon Musk is not in this room right now. You understand? So you're bouncing around because you're not getting the traction that you're looking for because you're probably judging way too fast. VaynerMedia sucked shit the first two years. Me and AJ had a long debate about selling it for a million dollars to Buddy Media 29 months in. Yeah, I mean like everybody's like thinks like Guys, most people are not actual entrepreneurs. And you, we are as a collective universe right now being tricked that we are. Just keep that in mind. <laughs>